As the players walk into the locker room before every home game, Jill Wilkes and Kathleen Sweeney give them one last bit of encouragement before they put their uniforms on and run down the hill into Death Valley. Well, it kind of happened by accident. So I got caught behind the buses, and as I was coming up, they were getting off the bus, and when they see me, they automatically hug me. So everybody started hugging me, and my boss at the time was like, you're holding up the line, and I'm like, I'm not doing it, they're doing it. So then I thought, okay, from now on, I'll get in a place where I won't be in the way. So I moved to the back, uh, right in front of the locker room, and do it before they go into the locker room. Probably around the time that Dabo became head coach, that um, a few wives and I, we just would get right where they came in for Tiger Walk, and then Jill, who, you know, is like mama bear around here, everybody loves Jill, we just, and we just started hugging the players. To say the players enjoy this tradition is an understatement. Former running back CJ Spiller still comes back to visit Miss Jill for her hugs 10 years later. I think that's, that's what it does, and like I said, she, she just had that smile on her face, and uh, you, know, you go in there, you get that big hug, and you know, you know she's excited for the game. She's excited for guys to do well. So it just gives you a little extra boost to go out there and try to make her proud. You know that she was uh, uh, all in with you uh, on that game day. For something that started completely by accident, the tradition has carried on for years and has made quite the impact on every player to come through Clemson. Uh, probably right up there with rubbing the rock right before you run down the hill. Like I say, for something that, you know, happened by accident and for it to continue to, to keep going, going uh, to this day, uh, you know that she take great, uh, I guess you can say pride, and uh, she gets a joy out of it. That's over 70-something hugs that she's given each Saturday for a home game, and I think the guys really appreciate it too uh, because she's doing it out of love. It gives you a feeling of no matter what happens on that field, she's always going to love you, unconditionally. However, it's not just special to the players. Jill and the other coaches' wives find so much joy in comforting the team before each game. Getting to see their faces, and everybody says something special to me when they come in. Like, you know, some of them will kiss me on the jaw. Um, some of them, I have had them to pick me up. Or we get caught, like their earphones will get caught. And, my, and so it's, it's kind of fun stuff, just little stuff like that. I don't think that there's one memory in particular, but it's just memories through the years. We have know over a hundred guys walking through Tiger Walk and they're all so excited and some have done it a million times and some it's their first time and you know they just seem happy just to see you know some of the coaches wives and Jill and it's like they're all our boys so we just like to love on them. These hugs will forever hold a special place in the hearts of the Clemson football team and is something they will look forward to before every game after walking through Tiger Walk. Just the sense of you know a sense of family and community you get. So, you know, every time Miss Jill gives that final hug before you go in the locker room, it's very comforting and just know that the Clemson family has your back and they're there to support you. It's just a special part of the end Tiger Walk, you know, pre-game tradition, just, you know, being able to hug people that care about you. It just makes things easier and, you know, gives you a little extra motivation as you go into the game. This tradition takes place in this very spot and will hopefully continue for many years to come. I'm Ashley Pendergast here in the West End Zone with the Clemson Insider.